full name Kane William Richardson. I was lucky enough to be born in country South Australia. I was born in a place called Yudunda, which is in the Barossa Valley. Um, but I didn't grow up there. I moved to the Northern Territory when I was seven. And I lived in Darwin until about 16 and I moved back down to Adelaide. So I'm a South Australian, but I did live in Darwin for about 10 years. I've got two brothers and a sister. Uh, I'm the youngest of everyone. Uh, all born in Adelaide, all South Australians as well, but we all moved to Darwin when we went up there. Uh, both play cricket, both my brothers play cricket. I play club cricket with uh, Callan, who isn't the oldest, he's the middle-aged one, uh, and also have a sister as well. I started playing cricket in the Northern Territory, so that's where it all started for me. So memories of playing cricket there are good ones, um, and all the friends I made at school there, I did all my schooling in in Darwin, so all the friends I made up there, um, yeah, are real good memories of when I lived there. I went to a primary school called Malak Primary School. Me and my brothers all went there, uh, just a uh, public school there. But then my mum got a job teaching at a private school in Darwin called Camilda College, uh, and me and Callan, my the 23-year-old, he's only a couple of years older, we both went there and played cricket there and did all our schooling there and mum was a teacher so we had to be on our best behaviour there. Um, but yeah, memories of, oh, I actually miss school now, I didn't like it when I was there. But um, looking back now, they were, they were real good memories. And my mum's uh, British so all her side of the family I've never really met. Uh, sorry, her grandma, my grandma and grandpa, so her parents are in Adelaide but apart from that I've never met anyone on her side of the family. So. Uh, I have a British background as well, but everyone else on my dad's side were born in Adelaide and a South Australian as well. In Darwin, this, uh, Aussie rules is quite quite strong in, in the Northern Territory. Not, not a lot of people up there play cricket, so it was almost, if you didn't play Aussie rules, you were the odd one out. So played a lot of that during the season where you didn't play cricket, so it kept you fit and busy, I guess, and all your mates play it, so you get to catch up with your mates as you play it. So. Played a little bit of Aussie rules, but once cricket started getting serious, I yeah just stuck to cricket. I live in a suburb called Ridleyton, which is about 15 minutes from here. It's west of the city. Uh, I live with Tom Cooper, who's a redback as well. He does all the cooking. Um, he tries to teach me, but yeah, I can only cook spaghetti on toast, I think, so I'll stick to breakfast. But apart from that, we've got a very, very neat house. Um, I do all the, all the housework, all the sweeping, all the gardening. I'm the green thumb, so he sticks to the kitchen, I stick to outside, so it gets, yeah, we get along well. Me and Tom Cooper play a lot of, play a lot of PlayStation, yeah, we probably don't get outside as much as we should. Uh, when the weather's like this though, I guess you can't do much else, so, uh, but apart from that, um, yeah, there's no real, as I said, I don't really study, so I've got a lot of time on my hands, but there's nothing I really get up to on a daily basis, so I just, yeah, like playing PlayStation and kind of chilling out and putting my feet up. We get a lot of time during the season between games where we're either away from home, so we've got a lot of time off to, like, time to kill. <clears throat> um, so we get to go to the movies quite a bit. Um, <clears throat> I saw one a couple of nights ago called Hall Pass, which is probably the funniest movie I've seen for a while. So I usually like to go to ones that are going to make me laugh, so Step Brothers and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't really like scary movies, so... If they're comedies and they make me laugh, I'll love to watch them. I'm not really into the, um, the, the festivals and stuff like that. It's never really been something I've been into, but I um, love music. Love always listening to it on my iPod and on my iPhone. So wherever I go, I'm listening to music, whether I'm in the car or on the way to cricket or about to go out to battle bowl, I'm always listening to music. I've always been a Wheat Bix kid. Um, whether it's home brand or sanitarium, I've always... Um, Always enjoyed eating wheat bix. I've never really been into toast, so always six or seven wheat bix every morning. I got my first one when I was 17. I got uh, an Arabic. I got my last name, so I got Richardson written in Arabic on my forearm, and that was my first one. That was kind of to test the waters, I guess. Um, and since then, I've I've got four now. So I've got a, something else on my arm here, which is a uh, it's, it's a cross, like a tribal cross, I guess, which my grandpa did he was an artist so not a tattoo artist just an artist so it was something he did and I kind of found and thought that uh, he passed away not long ago so I thought it was kind of a good thing for him I got along quite well with him so I thought it was uh, something good to uh, to do by him so I got that on my arm and also got something else on my chest and another one on my arm so I got four in total.